us about your background, what's in your resume. So in my resume, I take this kind of analytical structure and I break it down for society on a more church by church basis. It depends on how they're believing in things, how they're kind of operating on that primordial front for that almost convoluted essence of what can be created by man. Great. So, so what, awesome. what was the name of the company you worked for? Are you familiar with Sigmund Freud, the psychologist? Yes. Yes. So basically, um, it's think of like plants or animals. It's not like you want to get fresh air. It's not like this kind of like structured librarian like format if I do need to read or whatnot. Awesome. Well, it was good talking to you today, Steve. Yeah, for sure. And uh, do you have any questions for me? We do not. So it was nice to speak with you. You take care. Okay, Rob. Do you structure the client by client basis on that kind of front uh, based off of that 2000s culture? Yeah. Hey, Steve, C- C- on the bottom left right hand side of the screen, there's a leave room button. Do you see that one? I'm looking on the bottom right. It's just more of this like kind of... Ask me through your resume, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, w- is anyone in the room asking you that question by any chance? I'm sorry? Was someone in the room asking you that question, wanting to know that information? Yes, I am asking you the questions. Okay, and what, what was the information used for? What... Uh, well, this is an interview, so I ask you questions about you to see if you're a good fit for us. Okay. So what, what was the, the question that you needed, or...? So all of my jobs have been in the continental United States. Do you know where we're located? Yes, yes I do. Where are we located? Oh yes, what's that? Where are we located? Yes, I know the location. Uh, both you and I, we know the location, I just can't say it out loud right now. Okay, why Why not? I just, I'm trying to keep a uh, location stuff private. Not that I need to keep it private, it's just, I, it's just a policy. I'm down for any location. I'm wherever the fish are. Start off by telling me a little bit about yourself. I'm out here damn fishing in Tampa Bay. Right, to keep them alive. That damn pin fishing there. Do you live in Tampa Bay? And I'm all over Florida. Depends on when they migrating, but... Amy, do you ever do any fishing? No, I don't. No, I don't. Amy, I'll tell you what. I'd like to take you fishing, little mama. <laughs> Have you ever done any kind of sales before? I could sell a damn lure to a fish. Okay, so are you I'm not getting paid to fish, but I can't eat off of it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a go-getter, I take it, huh? I'm a damn go-getter. That's why I'm sitting on the dock of the bay. And I'm talking to this fine little mama in this damn virtual interview trying to get me a bite. <laughs> hey, Steve. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and we will be experience but it's not going to be to the level that they're needing we greatly appreciate you applying i think we're going to dismiss at this time no I'm sorry, I, I think I'm getting a little bit hungry. No, I'm kidding. Uh, my, my recent position was in like a warehouse and I did there for a year and a half. That was in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, and how about um, your background? You missed me with the felonies? Oh, I'll tell you what. I've never broken the law in my life. <laughs> no, I, I know Mr. Reiner's are felonies. I hope you're not testing for steroids, because I'm a big dude. <laughs> um, if we have any opportunities to come available, we'll go ahead and reach out to you. I'm so excited for one of these opportunities. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Your good vibes, Joshua. Bye. Bye-bye. Pick up a little bit from the camera. Uh, wait. It's all balked up a little bit. It's just a little bit like crammed or whatever. I would need you to back up. I'm only seeing your eyeball. So that's my third eye. I'm using it to pick up on your vibes. Okay, 
Okay. Well, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Where are you located? Right now, I'm interdimensional, but yeah, my physical earthly body can be wherever. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a position that would suit you. I feel like we didn't evolve long enough for you to decide that. Well, Actually asking you to back up from the camera and you're not able to do so. Yeah, I'll back up a little bit more. No, nope, keep going. Oh, wait. Where are you physically located? So, physically, my physical earthly body is in Florida on vacation. Uh, Emily. Are you here for an interview? Yeah, I'm done. You're done with your interview? Okay. No, I'm done. Like, I'm done for it. Okay. Sif, you could call me Chief Keith there. And what position did you apply for? I think it was like multiple because I'm like down through it every. I can't send you to a hiring manager without a shirt on. Oh no, I got my shirt right here. Yeah, it's not on. Yeah, but I feel like it still kind of looks like it's on there because I just didn't feel like throwing it on. I barely got up for this. You wouldn't need to be wearing a shirt. Yo, I could throw it on real quick. What's your email address? I don't really check my email. Ah, oh, word. Thank you so much. Have a good day, okay? Big fox. Big fox. Big fox. Joe, how are you? I'm doing well, man. You have a nice eye. Yo, it's my third eye. So you want the job or what? Yo, I'm down. You're gonna crush it, bro. What do you know about credit card project? Let me think. Oh! I have like one credit card myself and I maxed it out because I was doing Airbnbs in LA. Do you meditate? Yo, I just got in an 1111 Medi sesh like literally 15 minutes ago. I was going over my blessings. That's it. You're hired. Yo, I'm about to be working for the dopest dude ever. This is real. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm having the best day of my life. Thank you, Chief. The agent agreement for you to be hired. Um, I'll DM. Are you a speech language pathologist? I don't think so. I could be. Yeah, I don't think you are, but... I took a speech class in college at Santa Fe in Gainesville. I was pretty bomb at it. I did a speech about, like, medical marijuana, and they were vibing with it. We're looking for someone with a master's or doctorate level speech language pathologist. I don't think that that's what you qualify for. Yeah, because I don't even think I got the associate's degree because I was a year and a half deep. And then I saw a Big Sean concert and he was like, yo, chase your dreams and stuff. So I dropped out like the next day. Yeah. But I appreciate you logging in and I'll send you an email. All right, Bob. All right, word. All right, bye-bye. Evening. What's good? Chief, is there a reason why you're a giant eye? No, I'm not a giant eye. That's my third eye. It's just looking over us. Yeah, are you referring to my third eye or my physical earthly body, Chief Keith? Okay, you can do whatever you want, I guess. Ah, uh, wait. Is this guy in our class? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't it think he's definitely is not. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> do you have a roster in front of you? Because I don't think he did. Yeah, how about not? Cause you're not the professor, yeah. Professor, can you can you get him out of here? Can he notes on anything or? I'm sorry. Do you need me to take any notes on anything or? Uh, no. Okay, just let me know. Wait, who is this? Professor Steve. Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm the uh, backup professor. Just in case you fumble or whatever, I'm I'm here to catch it. It's a performance? What's that? <laughs> it's a performance? Oh no, I'm just a backup professor. Sounds good, alright. I'll keep that in mind. Awesome. I'll be here, just let me know if you need anything. Perfect. <laughs> alright guys, I think we can begin. Uh, and. Uh, as we just learned, we have a Professor Steve here to back me up in case we need it. Perfect. <laughs>